Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, fellow children of God. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the 10th of our 40 days fasting and prayer program. And today's topic is wonderful. Very, very wonderful. The love among the brethren. And when you read the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verses 32, the Bible says that the believers were with one mind and one heart. And that is why when they finish praying, the word of God says the environment where they pray was shaking because they pray with one mind, they pray with one heart. They were together. But today, what are we seeing in our society? Jealousy everywhere. That this man of God is doing well more than you. You are jealous of him. You are planning how to assassinate him. You are planning how to kill him. You are planning how to criticize him. You are planning how to set him up. Oh, what is happening in our own time? This is not what Jesus prayed for. Jesus prayed in John 17 before he ascended into heaven. He prayed, Father, may there be one as I and you are one. Even on the cross before he died, he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. There is no more Gentile. There is no more Jew. Everybody the same. But what is happening? If you own your television, this general overseer will mount on the pulpit. Instead of him to talk about what is in the Bible, instead of him to tell the congregation what the Bible is talking about, he will be condemning another person. He will be saying all sorts of rubbish about the fellow minister. Without it, first of all, asking God, what is the power? What is the secret behind this person? Are you the one working with this person? We forgot to ask the question and we are condemning each other. Even if the, the person is bad, are you to judge him? If God judge you, who will stand? Don't forget the psalmist. David says, oh Lord, if you mark our iniquity, who, who will escape being condemned? This is not the law that Jesus prayed for. I want to use this opportunity to beg all the church leaders, the Christian leaders, to continue showing love. That is how you can show your fellow minister love. If you notice there is something that you, one man of God, one church leader, one religious leader is doing that is wrong, why can't you call him or her? Why can't you go to him, my brother in the Lord? I think you should have done this like this. The, what you are doing is not good. Do it like this. Instead of you to mount on the pulpit, calling his name, writing in the papers about him, condemning him so that your own church will grow. That is not what Jesus preached for. That is not what he prayed for. I want to use this opportunity to tell us that today, today's topic, talking about love, show love to people around you. Whereby doing that, you are pleasing the Father. You are doing the will of the Father. Correct people with good manner. Show love to people who are not even at your level. Remember the poor in the society. Speak for those that have nobody to speak for them. The widows around, speak for them. And whereby doing this? Oh, your name will be written in heaven and you will not have anything to regret at the end time, at the last day, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, my people. May he give us this grace to begin to show love to another. May he give us the grace to correct each other in a lovely manner. May he give us the grace to not be jealous with each other. Jealous is more dangerous than cancer. And that is what is killing many Christian leaders today. Jealousy. And when you are jealous of somebody, you will keep thinking about that person, you will not have time again to think about yourself. May the Lord bless each and every one of us and give us the grace to love each other again, come back again as one body to fight evil in the society. God bless you all. May the Lord bless you, grant us our heart desires, especially in this 40 days fasting and prayer program, in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is day 10. Keep going to our website, zpmom.org. You will see all our social media handles. Go and like our page. I tell you, your life will not remain the same. It is well with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.